So Marty, maybe we can get to the punchline a little bit and hear what Natography is doing to help with this 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 challenge. Sure, uh, sure thing. So you know the the really interesting thing about um, our approach is that it, to some degree uh, it's a little bit less is more. And what I mean by that is that you know in this living off the land kind of concept that we're um, operating on, uh, we're starting off with NetFlow data. NetFlow data is natively available on every piece of network infrastructure. Uh, you know switches, routers, firewalls load balancers and things like that. They can all export this. They all talk the, the same language, NetFlow and SFlow. We can bring this all together into an ingest portal, which is what we have, and then give you one picture of what's going on because NetFlow and SFlow are the same wherever they come from, basically. So what that means, practically speaking, is that I can get it, the data from the uh, five major cloud environments, as well as all the legacy on-prem infrastructure, bring it together in one place and give you one picture of what's going on. And this is one of the big issues with the, the atomized network uh, problem that people are running into is that there's no one place to go see everything, right? I've got my legacy appliances that are in my actual physical infrastructure. I've got my monitoring tools that are in the cloud uh, and different monitoring tools from different clouds. And I have different policy management mechanisms and I have uh, different reporting systems. None of them work together and none of them were ever envisioned to work together. We have one place that allows you to see uniformly across the entire atomized network that people have today, gives you one place to look, one place to write policy, one place to analyze events, one place to threat hunt, and one way to essentially write once, detect everywhere across everything that you've got. And that is actually quite powerful, despite the fact that we're operating on a, a small set of data than we operated on in the past. We know there are additional types of data out there that we can bring into this model as well uh, as time marches on uh, and we feature up. So it's actually, it's a very powerful way of doing things because to your earlier point, it is incredibly fast to onboard and get up and operating with. We have uh, customer success stories with customers under attack going from uh, we're in trouble to we're fixed in less than an hour with this technology. And that's from the time when they got their first data record into our product. I mean, it is incredibly fast to onboard and, and produce value. And where we're going with it, this one place to uh, be able to see everything across your entire atomized network, write policy once, have it uh, effective everywhere is really unprecedented, uh, especially in this kind of modern architecture that we're in today, uh, where things are atomized and zero trust is the law of the land. Thank you.